Large projects often involve many stakeholders, and just as many file formats. Fortunately, BIM 360 Docs makes it easy for project members to share all project-related files. It also maintains a record of every version of every file, providing a comprehensive, cloud-based history of a project's evolution. In this session, we'll learn how to share files using BIM 360 Docs. As you can see, I've got Docs open, and I'm in a project called Kensington Square. If you remember, one of the Kensington Square stakeholders is named Morty Hackett. Morty's going to be creating some visualizations for this project. I would like to send Morty a couple Civil 3D drawings to help him put together his renderings. Just for a second, let's jump over to Civil 3D. Over here I have the two drawings open that I'd like to send. One is called P Lots, and to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to jump to the Geolocation ribbon tab, and I'm going to turn off the aerial image. In this drawing, we have the proposed lot geometry for this project. I'm also going to be sending this drawing called EG Topo. Same as before, we will turn off the aerial imagery. This drawing contains the existing ground surface model. Since this is 3D data, if I select the surface and choose the object viewer, we can orbit this up and view that surface in 3D. I'm going to close the object viewer. I'll press escape to deselect, and we'll return to BIM 360 Docs. To share these files with Morty, I'm going to start by creating a folder. Here in the Project Files directory is a folder called Correspondence. I'd like to add a subfolder to this folder. I'll do that by clicking the ellipsis button. I could also right-click on the folder name. From here I'll choose Add Subfolder. I'm going to call this folder Morty Hackett Share, and I'll click the check to finish. Once the folder's been created, I'm going to assign permissions. I'll do that by clicking the ellipsis button or by right-clicking on the folder name, and I'll come down and choose Permissions. Here at the top, I'll type Morty. You can see he's already recognized in this project. I'll select his name, and then I can select the desired permission level. I'm going to go with View Upload. If you have any questions about what you can or can't do by selecting these various permissions, simply hover over the I for more information. We'll go with View Upload, and then I'll click Add. Once Morty's been added to the folder, I'll click the back arrow to return to the folder view, and then I'll click the Upload button. I will then select both of the files and click Open. The files are then uploaded to the project. They are also processed. During processing, content is extracted from the files such that it can be viewed in the BIM 360 interface. At the time of this recording, BIM 360 Docs is capable of extracting and displaying content from 40 different file formats. There are also no restrictions on individual file size or the overall amount of data that can be uploaded. An easy way to tell if a file is viewable is to simply hover over it and see if it acts like a hyperlink. I'm going to click to open the PLOTS file. When I do, I can roll the mouse wheel forward and back to zoom in and out. I can hold the wheel down to pan, and you can see this file looks just like it did in Civil 3D. I'm going to click the X to close. I will then open the EG Topo file. Likewise, the surface model looks the same. Currently, I'm viewing the 2D view of this surface. If I select 3D and click 3D view, I can then view the surface in 3D. If I click and hold the left mouse button, I can orbit the surface. Notice when I do, the center of rotation is quite a distance below the surface. If I double click an object in this viewer, it will center that object on screen. Let me click off to the side. If I orbit now, it will orbit around the center of that object. Let's close this drawing. I will close the process dialog box, and I'm going to do one more thing. I'll click the ellipsis next to the folder name, and I'll come down and choose Subscribe, followed by the Subscribe button. We'll take a closer look at the Subscribe feature in a minute. If you'll indulge me for just a second, I'd like to take a look at things from Morty's perspective. I'll do that by clicking this icon in the upper right corner, and I'll sign out, and then we will sign in using Morty's credentials. When Morty logs into the project, he can only see the folders for which I've given him access. I'm going to choose the Morty Hackett Share folder. In here we can see those two drawings. Before I select one of these, notice the version column. BIM 360 Docs will retain a copy of every version of every file that I share with Morty, and every file he shares with me. I'm going to select P Lots, and you can see that Morty can view this file just like I can. It's also worth mentioning that BIM 360 Docs can be a great way to share drawings with stakeholders who may not have access to Civil 3D. Let's close this. Clicking the ellipsis button next to the file name, Morty can download the file to his local machine. He can download files one at a time using this menu, or he can select multiple files using these toggles on the left, or all files using the toggle at the very top. 
Selected files can then be downloaded as a zip file using the ellipsis button at the top of the screen. For right now, I'm going to click on screen to close the menu, and then I'll click the toggle again to deselect these files. One more thing, if Morty clicks the ellipsis button next to the folder name, he can subscribe to this folder. Note that you can subscribe to this folder only, or any subfolders if they exist. I'll come down and choose subscribe. From then on, Morty will receive an email each time the contents of this directory changes. Notice that Morty can upload to this folder as well. This means he can share his own files whenever necessary. As an example, I'm going to click Upload, and I'll choose Files. I will then jump into the Images folder and select the Sample Rendering and click Open. The file is then uploaded, processed, and added to the project. Now, if you remember, before we logged in as Morty, I also subscribed to this folder. So when Morty uploaded this rendering, an email was automatically sent to notify me of the transaction. On screen, we can see the email that was sent. From here, if I click the Take Me There button, it will take me right to the project directory where I can access Morty's rendering. So the next time you need to share files with project stakeholders, consider using BIM 360 Docs. Docs provides an easy-to-use, single platform for all your file exchange needs, while maintaining a comprehensive cloud-based history of every project file. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.